Hey everybody, what's going on? Sean here with Zero to Income, and I just learned something that I think is really, really, really important, uh, obviously. Uh, dripping content on your System.io course, all right? There's some little things that you really kind of need to know about dripping content. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to walk you through how to drip content properly. In this case, it's going to be one week at a time. We're going to have module one goes out immediately. Module two will be a week later. Module three will be a week later after that. Now, the question is, how do you set that uh, default time or that drip time? Uh, let's jump over to system.io and we'll look at this so that it'll make a lot more sense. All right, let's jump on over. I've got uh, a test course set up here is what we're looking at. Uh, we have an introduction. We have week two, week three. The goal is we introduction, they get immediately. And then seven days later, they're going to get access to week two. And then seven days later, they'll get access to week three. Now, here's the question. And here's the way I had it set up. And that is, do you set this up here? So when you go down here and you look at these modules, all right, do you set this one up for seven days and then this one up 14 days because it's 14 days after the course starts? No. It's seven days. This is seven days after this one. And then if you want this one to come out a week later, this is also seven days. Next thing to keep in mind is you do not want to set this up for seven days also. All right. So I was thinking I want these all to be available seven days after the start of the course. That's not how this works. If you have this set, so this first one set for uh, seven days, and then you set this one also for seven days, what's happening is audience building the key to success comes out seven days. And then seven days later, the next lesson, this one right here comes out. All right. So that's not what you want. You want this to come out seven days after the introduction. And then you want this to come out with it. So this needs to be um, grant access immediately. All right. Makes sense. So what you do is you go over to your settings. Okay. And it's not in the module settings. Module settings doesn't have any kind of a dripped uh, component. It's the lesson settings. So you jump, uh, you jump into the three dots. Uh, over for each lesson and you go to settings. Okay. And right here, we want this to come out seven days after the last module. So we click on seven. Okay. And click on save. Now this will also be available now seven days after this introduction. You just leave that alone. Now what I would do also is I would create a drip access email so that, uh, when this is available, they get an email to say, hey, week two is now available, everyone. It'd be week two is up. Let's see here and jump in and start learning. Okay. And then you would go in there and um, you would literally open it up and create your email. Okay. So that's how you would do that. Now, I want week three, obviously, to come out seven days after week two. So your next setting here would be go into settings again for the very first lecture. You go into settings. And again, it's not 14 days, you know, thinking this 14 days after the start of the course. No, it's seven days after that last module. So if it's just weekly, it's seven days. All right. And then save. And then each of these, again, I had it set to seven days thinking that it had to be uh, seven days, you know, they all have to be available seven days after that first course, right? No. So you keep these all at immediately. And again, these are going to be immediately available after that last lesson's available. Does that make sense? I know it's kind of confusing, um, but this is the way to set it up. All right. Okay. And then we would go back into our settings and we'd create that drip access email for week three. Hey, week three is up. Enjoy the learning. Reach out if you have any questions or whatever, right? So that is how you set up dripped content for your courses. Hopefully that's helpful because uh, I know I had this all messed up. So uh, thanks for watching. If you're enjoying these videos, we have a whole list of system.io videos. Go check them out. Have an awesome day.